thanks, Tim. Uh, so, the Published Knowledge Project, or PKP, builds open source software for scholarly publishing. Last year, a new version of their Documentation Interest Group, or the DIG, was formed. Uh, the Documentation Hub is a Jekyll website with content written in Markdown, and all of this is stored in GitHub. So the Documentation Group has virtual sprints for an hour and a half, bi-weekly, as well as monthly planning meetings. Participants edit and add content, content directly in the GitHub interface, and then submit a pull request. They're then merged into the documentation after being reviewed by another team member, uh, and the website is then built and deployed by a member of the PKP staff. So now that you have a bit of background, here are some things that we've learned along the way in everybody's favorite format, a top 10 list. So first, build your membership. We were lucky that PKP has a strong community with a lot of people that wanted to contribute to this initiative. In an average sprint, we have between four and eight attendees. And our membership is made up of team members at PKP, as well as organizations that work with them or use our software. Participation is open to anyone that wants to join, and we post sprint schedules online. When recruiting new members, be clear about time commitments and the work that's involved. Next, reduce technical barriers for participation. Documentation, our documentation specifically uses a lot of different technologies like Git, Jekyll, and Markdown, uh, as well as command line tools. But for most users that want to contribute, they shouldn't have to learn all of these parts of the documentation if they don't want to. Uh, so make it easy for people to contribute regardless of the technology stack that you're using. Next, start simple. The first task that we completed as a group was converting an existing PDF uh, from Markdown, or into Markdown from, uh, for the Docs Hub. So this was a great way for users to get familiar with Markdown, and then we came out of that first sprint with a full document that was ready for the Documentation Hub. Next, track tasks and issues. It can be really easy to lose track of all the documentation that needs to be worked on. We use a spreadsheet to keep track of all of the different documentation, what currently exists, and different people that are responsible for this. Community, the community can also submit issues in GitHub. Next, make it clear how to contribute. This means you need to make documentation for your documentation. The PKP team created a contributing guide and clearly linked to this in the Docs Hub. This guide outlines things like the structure of documentation and preferred writing styles. We also added an improve this page link in the documentation that will take users directly into the GitHub editor so they can make changes on the fly. Next, give people multiple ways to contribute. Some participants are fine with the bi-weekly bi sprint schedule, but for others, the format didn't work. In this case, we work with them to talk about what they want to contribute, and then they can share that with us later when it's ready for the website. So next, include the community in decision making. As I mentioned, we have monthly meetings for the DIG uh, to plan and discuss issues that come up. In these meetings, we also talk about upcoming sprint topics and give everyone space to talk about what they'd like to work on or what they see as a priority. Next, work with developers. This is something we've you know, started doing recently uh, and have been trying to implement or integrate documentation into the workflow. So we have some developers that will tag us in pull requests and issues that are going to impact documentation in the future, and then we add these back into that tracking spreadsheet that I mentioned before. Next, find external partnerships. So PKP software integrates with a lot of other systems. So we've had people uh, have made connections with people in other organizations to work on this documentation together at sprints. Uh, so for example, we recently did sprints with some of the staff at ORCID, as well as people in the directory of open access journals. And finally, find ways that you can avoid participant burnout. Make it clear to participants that they can join at any point come to sprints as schedules allow, and think about how you can distribute different responsibilities across the team. And to conclude, I'd like to acknowledge all of the great people that have made this work possible and have dedicated their time and energy to this project. Thank you.